Royal Nanny Maria spotted taking photo for Kate and her three children behind the scenes. Royal Nanny Maria Teresa Turion Borallo has been part of the Wells' family since Prince William and Kate's oldest child, Prince George, was just six months old. The Spanish Norland Nanny has been by the family's side on every special milestone and special event, including the late Queen's funeral and King Charles and Queen Camilla's coronation. Maria loves the children dearly. She can be firm and strict, but she's very loving and soft with them too. There were plenty of professional photographers on hand at Trooping the Color on Saturday, but Royal Nanny Maria Teresa Turian Borello used her phone to capture some behind-the-scenes snaps of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. She appeared to take pictures of the Princess of Wales, leaning down to speak to her children before they climbed aboard a royal carriage at the start of King Charles' birthday parade. Whilst the 52-year-old remained behind the scenes for the remainder of the day, she still glammed up for King Charles' big day. In the snaps, which were taken inside Buckingham Palace, Maria looks elegant in a dark dress, which she accessorized with a cream jacket and a matching fascinator hat. The outfit is incredibly similar to the one she wore during King Charles' coronation festivities. Borello lived with Prince William and Princess Kate at their Kensington Palace home to help raise three Wills children. However, William and Kate moved to Adelaide Cottage, which only has four bedrooms, last year. Although Borello could no longer live in the same home as the family, she remains the children's caretaker. Borello was born in Spain and studied at Norland Cottage, a UK institution offering childcare training. Nanny Maria made her first public appearance with the couple during the 2014 tour of New Zealand and Australia when Prince George was nine months old. Since then, she has been seen at major royal events, including weddings where she keeps young bridesmaids and page boys on their best behavior. One of her most famous appearances happened at Prince Charlotte's christening in 2015, when she wore a bowler hat that inspired comparisons to the fictional Mary Poppins. We will not be giving any further details on Maria or her employment, except to say that the Duke and Duchess are of course delighted she has chosen to join them. At the time, one of Maria's friends told she has worked with other prominent high society families in the past. It was from there that the Cambridges heard of her and hired her. She is not married and doesn't have a boyfriend as her life is totally dedicated to the family she is working with. She is known for being totally professional, married to the job. This year's Troop in the Color was the first with King Charles as the new UK monarch. There were many similarities to past ceremonies though, including Prince Louis's habits of stealing the spotlight. Louis was seen holding his nose in the royal carriage, perhaps because of the hundreds of horses taking part in the parade that require their own cleanup crew, while George let out a big sneeze. Once the three children arrived at the Buckingham Palace balcony, Prince Louis showed off more animated reactions. While the Red Arrow's aerobatic team of the Royal Air Force soared above, he puffed his cheeks while he held out his arms. He also stood with his family as God Save the King was played before they returned to the palace. The event saw the branches of the UK military marking the official birthday of the British Sovereign. It is typically planned down to the last detail, but there was one surprise for King Charles, 18 typhoon jets that spelled out CR in the sky. This stands for Charles and Rex, Latin for King.